worked incredibly long hours to go and shoot, you know, some pieces of footage for a season they had no idea what it was about, and um, and they or did it. it. <laughs> or if it would happen. <laughs> um, but they, uh, we sent them stuff, and of course it came back brilliantly, and we sort of intercut it. That 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 video you just watched, incidentally, was our sales tool to try and get us a. Uh, a season five, so we could present to people uh, that needed to understand where we were going with the show, um, to get to, to allow them to say, okay, I, you know, I love this show. To, to go inside with all the hard work you've to, to to keep us going. So um, you saw it. We love you. <laughs> and, and you guys, you just joked about like if the season would happen. What did you guys feel? No, no, that actually was not a joke. Yeah, <laughs> what did you guys think when you got the the 13 episode renewal? Yeah, it was late in the day, so uh, <laughs> they were like, oh, yeah. Yeah. I think it was a bit of shock. Well, you felt confident again. John is that's, John that's is the wise old sage. Yeah. Like, no, but I, I I think generally everybody was sort of happily surprised because we were right there on the razor's edge this year, even more so than any other year. So uh, it was a <laughs> a good shock. But it was the fans. <laughs> How long have you known how you wanted the series to end? Oh. Um, well, I had ideas um, since since season one, um, but but those change, to be honest, um, because you get you get people bring things to the pie that you you don't really <coughs> expect, and then that makes you think about a whole different you know way to go. Um, truthfully, I had. Two or well, two and a half versions of what I what I kind of thought we should do for the end, and then I sort of decided about three three months ago or a month and a half ago, it just became very clear, and and I knew that was the, this is the way that we should go, and um, uh, and that's what you're going to get, <laughs> whether you like it or not. <laughs> yeah, no, you like it. You like it. <laughs> so did you clue the cast into how this is all going to end? Yeah, yeah, which is really fun because I think that they they I, in, in past years we haven't, right? <laughs> No, um, no. Usually we're very much kind of, you know, uh, in the dark, and it's interesting. So sort of, I don't know, being able to, to kind of plot, plot a little bit more out than, than usual. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, the truth is, is that it's because it's 13, and um, you know, we want to write the scripts early to make sure that it, everything is absolutely perfect and, and the way that we would all want it. And if, if, if I'm doing that with the writing staff and myself and getting across what I really want to get across, I want to make sure that the actors have enough time to bring their uh, ideas and, and uh, thoughts and n know where they're going, um, you know, for the final season too, because they've, you know, they've developed these incredible characters and created these incredible characters, and then I just want to make sure that they had enough, you know, um, advanced Idea. Warning. Yeah, warning. To give us the chance. Yeah, yeah. Basically, like just as you guys want the show to end well, we all want the show to end well. <laughs> and to give us a chance to do our best job going into the final season. Yeah. Right? yeah. And now, um, this season is clearly going to be very absorber heavy. Um, but they might not be as bad as we think. There's some questions. They're much, there. much worse. <laughs> <laughs> I think you have something to tell us about how we'll actually find out oh. more about this. Actually, story. this is kind of a little love letter from us to you guys in, in a really in a, in a fun, I think, and meaningful way for those of you who like collectibles. Um, we, we, we decided you know, that it would be a good idea to sort of um, get a, a book, an observer book where it's September's type of concept of what he's been through since the beginning of the program. And this is going to be done by um, Tara Bennett and, and Paul Terry, who did this great Lost book. I don't know if any of you have seen that Lost book, but it's astounding. And uh, they're going to give the same treatment to Fringe, but it's going to be sort of all through the prism of September's impressions of, of what he's seen and, um, and, and what the characters mean to him and maybe some things in there that'll surprise you. And uh, we're going to actually kind of have it so there's a little bit of a contest where you know, if you are early to sign up or to get it, that we'll be able to, you know, draw a few names and and, and you guys would actually your names would be included in the book as people of interest. That the, That's <laughs> awesome. That September, you know, uh, is interested in. So. Uh, you know, that's coming up, Maybe so keep your eye for that, but we're, we're trying to really give you guys back so much because, um, again, you know, without you guys and, and the media and uh, and your 
incredible support, we would not be here. And this is the little show that could, and I can't believe that we're here. <laughs> and uh, really, we appreciate it so much.